Steep trail, super pretty. My good friend Nate back here, longtime outdoorsman, first time backpacker. He'll probably be coming again. We'll see. Oh, yeah. uh, we're about an hour and 35 minutes in, three miles back. Uh, doesn't appear to be anybody here. I think we found camp, but we're going to do the camp thing, get set up, and uh, fish. That's why we're here. All right, so we have got camp mostly set up. Got a little hammock to relax in later behind me. Um, most of you who follow my channel know my routine. I'm going to have some coffee, then rig up and hit the water. So a lot of fish activity. So we'll see what happens. There you go. <laughs> I, I knew you had one. <laughs> inside the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, had coffee, a little snack, feel quite a bit better. It was a gnarly hike up here. And we're both uh, just excited to fish. Nate's just getting a line in the water and I'm gonna find a spot and do so myself. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get after it. Oh, I had about four fish already. Oh, you had a couple little tugs already? Oh, yeah. That ought to catch a fish. Oh, See it? yeah, <laughs> little grayling, oh, come on, I was, I think I've given Nate about all, all the opportunity he's going to get, now I'm going to have to catch a fish before him. Hey, if that's not fun. I'm not sure if the camera picked it up or not, but uh, it was about three minutes and Nate had about eight strikes. So uh, anyway, we're going to get on the water now too. Come on. Oh man, <laughs> a little update. We've been on the water for about an hour. Uh, Nate is way over there on the other side of the lake. I had to get away from him. He's, he's bad luck. Um, he's having good luck. He's probably caught every fish in the lake, and I haven't caught anything. If I catch some it now, it'll probably be his leftovers, so... Uh, anyway, I've got a little, uh, I don't know, a little Griffith's gnat. Small little dry fly on now. We'll see what happens. Ooh, all right, I am just getting back to camp. Uh, Nate's right out there on the water somewhere. He just got another fish. I've really struggled today on the water. Hooked into a couple, I just haven't got them all the way to the net yet, so. Still having a great time. Uh, I'm gonna relax. I need to filter some water, I need a little snack, maybe another cup of coffee. Um, we're definitely not done fishing yet, but gonna take a little break. Yeah, some pretty decent running water here to filter from. Gonna fill up my bag and then go back to camp.
goodness. Uh, just laid down for a little nap. Felt fantastic. Um, woke up to a little rainstorm. Shouldn't be too bad. I imagine it'll blow over really, really quick. So I'm going to lay back down and uh, wait till this passes. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> it's almost five. We are uh, out of the tent. It rained for, I don't know, off and on for two hours, some thunder, lightning. Took a nap for about an hour, felt good, but uh, we're gonna hit the water. Little better fish. Small still, but better. Gotta be a cutthroat, it stopped fighting. Yeah, a little better, eight inches. got to be a grayling. Good size. Yeah. It hit pretty hard too. Yeah, we'll see. What are you going to be using? I got a blue wing olive. Oh, okay. Some dry fly? Yeah. It's going to be a cutthroat. A little better though. Oh, this is a beautiful fish. Nate's got a big grayling and he told me I needed to come and take a look at it. So I was reeling in real quick because uh, I wanted to see it and uh, had a good strike. So we're doubled up right now. We'll see what I got. <sighs> Another little cutthroat. So beautiful down here on the water. I'm having a much better night. Uh, Caught a whole handful of fish already and we've still got at least two hours to fish, so awesome. So much fun up here. The only thing I need is Holstein. There we go. There we go. I'm on. Fish on. It's another grayling, pal. Oh, we got a Oh, and he got on. Whew, I got that sun right in my face. So we're uh, just finishing up Whoop. with the fishing session. We're gonna go have some dinner, let the sun drop a little bit more and then come back out and get one more rally in before dark. Great. Uh, Great go at it. We were both on the fish. That's my dinner. Just getting it going. Uh, ramen. Yeah, these things are these things are pretty neat. <sighs> what time was it? 7:40. But. 7.45, we just had dinner, relaxed for a bit, and we're headed back down to the water. We probably got about 30 to 45 minutes of fishing left, and then we'll be back at camp for the night, but we both want to catch a few more fish. Go 
one of those cuts are out. Oh, well, let's take a look. Come on. You are correct, sir. Evening fishing is over. Uh, surprisingly quite a bit slower tonight. I caught a couple fish. Nate had a whole bunch of strikes. Overall a fantastic day. We're gonna relax the rest of the night and uh, been a great day. Good morning. Uh, I think it's around 6.30. I need some coffee. Quick. I just finished my coffee. I uh, left the big camera back at camp, got my GoPro, and we're gonna try and catch a couple fish before we uh, get packed up. So uh, I'd like one of the bigger grayling in here, but you know, I'll be happy with anything. So should be able to catch a few. Beautiful. There it is. Came off. <clears throat> yeah. Just got my last bug on, uh, the last one I'm gonna try before hiking out of here, and it's a pretty big uh, B pattern. Pretty excited to toss it, we'll see what happens. Uh, I need to go a little further than that. There we go. I knew that would catch a fish. That's a good fish. Probably a grayling. Got some fight. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a good grayling. Eight inches. Yep, look at that beautiful grayling. Fantastic fish. Just like that. Uh, we are almost all packed up. And uh, outside of that, it's been a great trip. We'll see you on the next one.